Hello everybody, welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial series. This is the Inventory UI series, and uh, we just finished in the previous videos uh, all of the things to do with our inventory, including the logic and the UI, as well as our quick use item slot stuff, uh, so we can now eat items and gain health, or drink a potion or eat meat and gain health, so we can do all of those things. Uh, and now we're going to start getting into the fun kind of user interface related things. So the in this video uh, we're going to do we're going to add a banner above each item. So we'll basically be able to walk up to an item and then it'll say pick up brick, pick up potion, pick up key, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so we'll do that. And then in the couple videos after this, we're going to be working on our actual like pick up banner log. So uh, we'll pick up a potion and then something will slide. I put it on screen now to give you an example. It's going to slide on screen. It's going to say pick up potion times one. Uh, so this is going to be pretty uh, logic heavy, uh, so uh, I will be moving a bit slower and I'm going to break it up into more videos just so that uh, no mistakes are made because it's a lot of code to go through if uh, there is some sort of error. Uh, so anyways, uh, the first one isn't going to be so bad, it's going to be kind of a warm up, so let's get started here, not to take up any more of your time with me blabbering. So we're going to go into our UI folder and go into UI widgets, we're going to make a new user interface widget blueprint. We're going to call this pick up pro oh, right. prompt. We're going to open this guy up. All right, so we're inside here now, and uh, we're not going to add a canvas panel like normal. Uh, we're going to actually add this widget inside the item blueprints itself, which is a bit different than what we've normally been doing. So to achieve this, we're going to get a scale box. And all of these settings should be fine for now. We'll get into it in a sec. Uh, we're going to add a border next. I want the background of our box to be a different color, which will be, we'll do it down here at brush color. We're going to make it black with an opacity or a alpha of 0.5. Okay, uh, the image size, we're just going to uh, slot scale box slot. We're just going to make it uh, the, basically the width and the, the width and the length of the scale box. And same with the content. Uh, the padding, we'll just do a padding of four all the way around. All right, after that, we're going to add a horizontal box to add a couple of things into this horizontal box. And we'll get rid of the padding because we already put some on. And we're going to add a image. The horizontal box. And the image we're going to name item image. And we're going to make sure that's a variable. Uh, the rest of these, we don't need to be variables. Uh, the image size, let's do 50 by 50. And then the, we need to add some text. Text to the horizontal box as well. Okay, the text block, we're going to have fill. And we're going to center it. And center it. Okay. And so this is going to be as big as we make it. So we'll say pick up a lot of different items. And it's going to scale the border and everything to fit. Uh, we should add some padding, maybe like 10 and uh, 10. So to the right or left. It's got a little bit of different things there. Okay, so uh, this will just say picked up or pick up apple and then we will add the apple to here just to have some sort of debuggy thing uh, the image size i just made 500 so we'll just change that back to 50 50 by 50 so it'll be something like that super easy and oh and the uh text we should uh name item name and make that a variable as well and that's all we need to do here we uh, do need to make a, uh, another function for our interface for interact. Okay, so we'll make a new function. And we're going to call it show item UI. We're going to make an input of item name, which will be the name, and then quantity. There we go. All right, we need to make one more function called hide item UI. And these don't need any uh, inputs or outputs. We'll just leave it as is. Okay, uh, we actually need to go back to our uh, widgets and to our 
uh, where pickup prompt here. We need to make an animation for this so that it can fade in and fade out as we approach it. So we're going to go down here to animations. Okay. Uh, first, you'll click plus animation and we'll name it fade in. Okay. It doesn't like, right? It doesn't like um, spaces. Okay, so you'll notice when I click on fade in, this blue border appears, and this just lets you know that you're editing the animation itself and not the actual widget. Okay, so uh, so if you click out of here and you start doing stuff, you see that it doesn't disappear, so you got to make sure when you leave the animation that you just unselect fade in, and then it'll go back to the actual widget. Okay, so we're in our fade in animation. We're going to um, add all names for widgets. We're going to say this, which is the entirety of this widget. Then we're going to go to this plus, and we're going to add a track. So we're going to add a render opacity track. Okay, we're going to make this about four seconds long. So we'll say, uh, or pardon me, we'll make this uh, half a second long, pardon me. Okay, we're going to click on this to add a new keyframe, and you'll see that the render opacity is one. And then if we uh, use these arrows here, we can actually cycle back through keyframes. We're going to go to the beginning and type zero. And then you'll see that this slowly fades in. Okay, that's all we want to do. We're going to hit compile. And then we're gonna do some logic. So we're gonna do the logic inside the widget itself because um, the widget is not gonna be a part of our HUD class that we have uh, been doing for everything else. Okay, so obviously we need to implement that BPI interact interface, and then we will have access to these events. So we're gonna implement the hide event and the show event. Okay, the let's do the show event first. So we're going to get our item name and we're going to get data table row. I'm going to make sure we're selecting our item data table. We're going to uh, right click and split this and we're going to set this as a variable or put promote this to variable, pardon me. So out row name. Let's grab our item image. We're going to set brush from texture. And then we're going to plug our thumbnail in there. So then now we're uh, going to set uh, whatever the item is as the thumbnail, pardon me, the um, thumbnail as the texture. We're going to grab our pickup text. Image name, sorry, image name. This will be set text. Got all these words mixed up in my brains. So we're getting our item name, which is our text um, component in our widget, and we're going to set the text. And the text is going to be our out row name. Um, hello, it's me from the future. Uh, I'm editing the video and realized that I made an error, and I can't believe it and pick it up. Uh, so the video is all done uh, already. But uh, so if I go and test this out, you'll see when we walk up, it literally just says brick key. It's just the item names above all the. Th all the items, which looks totally vanilla and silly, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, to it's, so instead of doing this like I just told you in the video, uh, you're going to want to just... Uh, we'll disconnect this, drag row name out here, and then we'll drag it here, and we will format text. So your guys' is going to look better than mine, actually. Uh, so the format text will do pickup, and then those weird brackets that we did in the previous video or one of the previous videos and then we'll say name and that'll add that and then we'll drag that in and then that way when you're when you walk up it'll say pick up potion instead of just potion <laughs> so okay so yeah do it like that and then the rest of the video is all fine so i will see you after that we're going to set the visibility of the widget to visible And then we're going to play our animation. So we're going to grab our animation, fade in. We're going to get it, and we're going to drag out of there, and we're going to say play animation. Okay, and everything should look exactly uh, as it should for the default. And that's all we need to do for uh, show HUD. For hide HUD, we're going to do, uh, we're going to grab our animation once again, get, we're going to play animation. There it is. So we're going to play mode reverse. So we're gonna fade
fade from 1 to 0. Okay, and then after that we need to add a delay. I gotta spell delay right. We gotta add a delay node, and the reason for this is because the code all executes so instantaneously that it doesn't give time for animations to actually play, so we need to add a delay node for this animation to actually finish before it does any of the rest of the logic in here. After the delay, we're just gonna set our visibility to hidden. Okay, that's all we need to do here. Uh, we're gonna hit compile. Now we're gonna go into our item folder, items, and we're gonna go into our item parent. Uh, we need to do two things. We need to add a sphere, sphere collision. And we're gonna call this UI underscore or whatever underscore location. Uh, okay, so for the, uh, so we've added our sphere here and now we need to add another component called a, we'll just type in widget and we're gonna do this one. Widget, not widget interaction. It's not the one we want. We just want widget. Okay, we're gonna click on widget. We're gonna come over here. Space we want is screen. And widget class is going to be the one we may pick up prompt. Okay, the draw size is going to be, uh, is it, I'm probably gonna get this backwards. If it looks all effed up, it's because we did this backwards. It's X, X, so maybe this is 500 and then 50. It's X, Y, something like that. Okay, we'll do that and we'll see how it looks after. We're gonna go into our event graph. Uh, so we're gonna right click and go event, Begin, uh, event begin overlap. We're gonna drag out of here and cast to BP player. We're gonna make sure that it's our player controller, or pardon me, our player character that's actually overlapping with this object. Okay, from there we're gonna drag out of here and we're going to set can be picked up to true. And I believe we made this in a previous video. If not, yeah, just make a boolean called can be picked up. Okay, so we are going to come out of can be picked up and we're going to do, uh, we're going to get our widget. We're going to drag out of here and we're going to get widget because our widget is a widget component and not like an actual widget widget. <laughs> so we won't be able to call the BPI unless we have this node. So we'll drag out of here and then we're going to uh, show item UI. Okay, and uh, we'll need to plug in all of our data here. So we'll get our item data. Drag it there. We're gonna get uh, item data. I can't remember what it's called. Item get item, item ID. That's the one. Split that, and we're gonna plug our row name into item name, and then we're going to just move this up for a sec here. Add a reroute node for item data, and then we're going to get quantity. Plug that in. All right. So that'll be firing just fine. Uh, if our cast fails, we're gonna want to set can be picked up to false. And then we're gonna to wanna to get this event. Uh, I think I, uh, I had to come back and change something here so I didn't make a mistake. So you just type in event end. Uh, actor event overlap, that's the one you want. Okay, we're gonna come out of BP player. We're gonna say equals equals and we're just gonna check if our actor equals the BP player. We will get a branch. And if our actor does um, is e BP player, we're gonna go into can be picked up. False, and then out of here, we're going to grab our widget once again, get widget, and then we're going to hide you, uh, item UI. Okay, just like that. All right, so let's uh, hit compile, and let's test it out. Boo, so they all work. So we need to start the render visibility for all these at zero so that it fades in naturally because you can see they all disappear now that we, um, yeah, wow, that's uh, pretty big. A couple things, let's fix a couple of those things here. So first of all, and I'll just uh, do this here so we can do it all together. So we'll go to the widget and we'll go to the viewport and this is where we can actually change the, uh, actually I got a debug one, let's debug the ocean. Okay, and now we should be able to change the live value of this. Okay, so just find a spot that you like and then put it there. And then um, let's just do a test here. So I'm just gonna slowly edge up until we see the pickup potion. What happened there? There we go, we're gonna hit F. So it's not working. 
uh, when I hit F, which means that the sphere is just a little bit too big. So how much further until it works? Okay, so I would say let's make this uh, like 75. And then we'll hit play and we'll just check it. It's uh, probably, probably even 50 to be honest. Let's do 50. Compile. Try that one more time. Get rid of that. It's like just barely it, not enough, which uh, that's fine for me. All right, we'll go back to pickup prompt. We're going to go to your designer and we're going to select pickup prompt and then we're going to go down to our render opacity, make it zero, hit compile. And then when we play, I don't think they shouldn't do that. Oh, you know what? It's because we start near this. So let's move our uh, begin play person or there, right there. Okay, now we're not near it. See, none of them have appeared. Now we walk up, and then they show up. Uh, we do want to fix the draw size. That potion is looking pretty crazy. Crazy long. Scale box. Is it this one? Or was it in... It was in item parent. Sorry. It was in item parent widget. Draw size. Here we go. Uh, draw size. Let's go draw a desired size. And then that should fix that issue. There. See? Pick up potion, pick up brick, pick up key. Oh, this actually looks pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with this. All right. Okay, so there you guys go. In the next video, we're going to do the banners, and there's going to be a lot of scripting in that one, so uh, buckle in. It'll be a, a good old time. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe and like the video. Take care.